Hi everybody, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Today I have another micro dotting project for you to make this sweet little Valentine's Day heart. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, materials I'm going to use are wooden heart. This is a 1.7 uh, wooden heart that I've prepped uh, just by sanding it and then doing several coats of um, uh, white chalk paint. And then I've put my first dot down in the center because I'm going to have this uh, this design kind of radiate from the tip of that heart. And I use the pink P16 11.5 millimeter crochet hook. And now I'm going around uh, in orange using the largest of my nail dotting tools. And I'll do two rows of that. I'm going to go back in and add some green because this is a fun spring heart. So I'll add a little bit of green. Now I'm using the three millimeter drill bit to drop in some fuchsia and the four millimeter, this is the G6 four millimeter crochet hook to drop in that purple. You can see that as I need to, I go off the edge a little bit. And now I'm going back in with the H8 five millimeter crochet hook to drop that row of orange and I'll be using my nail dotting stylus, one of the smaller ones because it's such a small piece to um, walk some green dots around that row. This is so bright and colorful. I, I hope you really enjoy the way this one turns out. So now I'm going back in and just adding some more green dots to fill in and take up some of the space there and finish out the design. And then I'll go in again with my red, uh, this is the H8 five millimeter crochet hook and drop in some more of that berry color. And walk some green dots around that row. This is such a simple technique and it's so beautiful when it's finished. So we'll finish up walking those dots. And um, I didn't show this, but I did go ahead and do some top dots. I just actually did a row of top dots with white and um, then just the same color on top of it. And I think that gave it a really pretty look. I also finished this off with a couple of coats of Verithane uh, polyurethane gloss, high gloss varnish. Now, some of you um, in my last video, I did uh, a piece a necklace showing you drilling and using jump rings. In this one, I thought, well, some of you might not have um, those kinds of tools or you might not want to invest in them. So we'll use a basic glue on bale, which are easily found at, at your craft stores. I'll also have some links down below. And we'll use some hypo, GS Hypo Cement, uh, which is a, a jewelry grade, uh, grade cement. I've got here a variety of bales that you'll find, and they come in different finishes and different sizes and different styles. What I'm going to do is just sort of test out my piece here and see what looks good with it. Um, I also need to know what I'm going to string it on. So here's a satin wrapped cord. Here's some um, rat tail, chain, ribbon, whatever you've got. Um, I think the thing is to look for a size and a weight that matches the pendant piece and then also is going to work with your bale. That rat, rat tail looked nice. Um, this one I think might be a little bit too big. Uh, but a chain would be pretty. Um, so I'll just kind of check out my bales here because one of the things that I made this this um, this rat tail necklace up in advance and so I don't necessarily want to take it apart so I want to check to make sure it's going to go through the bale and it fits well through the bale and then I just need a bale that matches the finishes on my on my uh, on my necklace cord. So let's go ahead and glue this on one of the other things you want to check for is size. These bales come in different sizes and different styles. So you saw a larger one, a smaller one. Here's one with two sort of little prongs. I'm really looking for one that matches the scale of the pendant piece. And I, for me, I think this larger one works better and is more pleasing to the eye. And it fits the necklace that I have. So I think that one's going to look good. To prep this, I'll just do a little bit of light sanding on the back, open up my cement. This comes with a little needle nose that you can stick back in the, um, in the tube there uh, to keep it from um, clogging. And then I'll put some jewelry glue right there in that little well. 
Now you don't want to overfill this well because uh, it is going to seep out and uh, you're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup. Be sure you clean the tip off and then put that, uh, that needle back in and close it up fairly quickly. So I will go ahead and just press that onto the back. Don't really need too many uh, any special tools or anything. I'm just going to make sure it's pressed on there well, make sure it's seated well and that it's um, straight on the back. Uh, there's a little bit of glue that seeped out behind uh, or under the edge there and I'll just clean that off and use a little bit rubbing alcohol if any got on the bale itself. And then I set that aside. It um, You do need to let this the glue sit for about 20 seconds, 10 or 20 seconds um, before you attach it to the back and then just press it on and let it cure for 24 hours and it's ready to go. After you've waited the 24 hours you can just string it and you can wear it. I think that turned out really cute. It's I like the little uh, lovely uh, garden design. Here's a close-up. Here's how it looks with the necklace. I hope you enjoyed this project. I want to thank you all for joining me in my studio. I hope you're enjoying these micro dotting projects. Let me know. Uh, leave me a, a, a comment. I hope you uh, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I really enjoy hearing from you and would like to know what other projects you're interested in. Thanks so much for joining me in my studio. Take care.